guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Pisces. So this is going to be uh, your zodiac reading for the month of April. So I'm learning your zodiac signs as we go. Um, so what do we have here? Pisces, um, your strengths are compassionate, artistic, intuitive, gentle, wise, and musical. So I'm a water sign also. Um, I really enjoy um, painting obviously I made the cards that way but I guess Pisces is more of a you know musical energy um, very talented very empathic all right so I'm going to use different decks here we're going to start with drawing in virtue so it's going to be an extended reading I'll pull three cards per position as well as clarifiers uh, so this is John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the present. And John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the near future. Okay. And so for the near future, I'm going to use, call it Baron Reed Enchanted Map. Whoa, the home card just flipped up. All right, so what you guys are bringing into the union, call it Baron Reed Wisdom of the Oracle. Foundation. We'll use Fairy by Lenormand as well as the, the crowning energy as well. And my larger deck, we'll use that for the heart centered energy. Okay, and so the final card is going to be from the Osho Zen, and I'll read this to you um, from the start. So we'll know what the overall energy for April is. Okay, so let me give my smaller decks here a shuffle. I'm using two separate decks for the clarifiers. All right, so let's begin with the Osho Zen card, overall energy. Innocence, very nice. The Sun card is the most positive card in the deck. Okay, so it says, the old man in this card radiates a childlike delight in the world. There's a sense of grace surrounding him, as if he is at home with himself and what with life has to offer. He seems to be having a playful communication with this praying mantis on his finger, as if the two of them have been greatest friends. The playing, oh my gosh, I can't talk, sorry. Mercury retrograde. Um, the pink flowers cascading around him represent a time of letting go, relaxation, and sweetness. They are a response to his presence, a reflection of his own qualities. 
the innocence that comes from the deep experience of life is childlike, but not childish. The innocence of the children is beautiful, but ignorant. It will be replaced by mistrust and doubt as a child grows and learns uh, that the world can be dangerous and threatening place. But the innocence of life lived fully has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the ever-changing wonder of life. Sorry about the interruption there. My son walked in the door. Um, so the sun card, yes, very positive energy beaming with innocence and purity. And, you know, so the um, this card also reduces down to one, so it's new beginnings. So you're going to be in this vibrant energy for the next month. Very nice. Okay, so let's begin with the twin flame part of the reading. So what is the feminine um, coming in with the past? Uh, she's bringing in the two of swords. So it says, it will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a, commu um, a compromise. So the two of swords is a split mind, indecision, inability to move forward. Um, so the choice that she had to make she knew it had far-reaching consequences and there was no um she was unable to make that decision okay so let's pull three clarifiers the knight of cups wow the sun card again and the ace of swords beautiful so the knight of cups in the past position there was movement forward towards love there was commitment um there's this desire to make that commitment so this energy came towards her in the past or she was this energy um, and it led to this feeling of the Sun which is again the most positive card in the deck the overall energy um, so vibrancy ex excitement return to innocence purity f feeling free so this new beginning this powerful um, masculine vibrant energy um, lit her up the future position <clears throat> and it created this this need to make a decision with the two of swords and so in the future we have the ace of swords her making that decision being triumphant in making that decision having mental clarity and new start so we've got an 11 here beautiful energy um, that's surrounding that two of swords so feeling stuck feeling like you can't make that decision and then this loving energy comes towards you and just lights your world you feel victorious it, you know, um, new beginnings are happening for you and all has to do with love. Now, the Knight of Wands is that Pisces, or sorry, the Knight of Cups is Pisces energy, right? It's water energy. Okay, so um, the past position for the masculine is the Six of Swords. So it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, breathe a sigh of, re sigh of relief make new plans relocation or travel so the masculine side has moved to a calmer state of mind and you notice that the calmness is to the right of the picture and so that's there's a movement towards the light towards warmth right towards calmness towards the feminine um, so the masculine energy is coming out of a dark state possibly you know there's been some arguments with some people negative finger pointing um, that kind of thing and it has pushed him away from that energy wow the six of swords again the page of wands and the five of swords wow okay so six of swords same card okay so here we have a parting of ways a feminine energy moving that way and the masculine energy moving this way. So he may have split up with a karmic partner in the past or moved away from a negative situation possibly at work or whatever. So the page of wands is a new beginning. It's excitement, aha moment, it's great news, great communication. So amongst all of this uh, chaos there was you know this stillness and from that stillness he saw a way out and so this is a new adventure um, beginning a journey that's more spiritually aligned now the future position is the five of swords so he needs to deal with some issues in order to be full 
clear, you know, of this energy. But he's very enthusiastic about it. But, you know, the Five of Swords um, comes before the Six of Four Swords. So it's more conflict, more finger pointing. But he's in a very beautiful place. You know, he's in a very powerful place. He's already made a decision to move away from that and begin anew. All right, I just want to make sure all these cards are on camera. Move them over a little bit so you can see them. Good. Okay, so what's in the present position for the feminine authority? Interesting. I'm saying interesting because um, there seems to be a blurring of the yin and yang. Um, I did the Aquarius reading before this, and the feminine had strong masculine energy, uh, and the masculine had strong feminine energy. And you could see that in the Twin Flame readings as well. So the present position, authority. So this could very well be the feminine um, feeling this authoritative energy or projecting this energy to the masculine. So let's pull some clarifiers. The Nine of Pentacles, nice. Sacral Chakra and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles past position, this represents independence. It's abundance, harvest, feeling like you've arrived. Um, feeling like you have enough coming in so you can splurge a little, right? So this is card of self-love, um, treating yourself to a vacation. Um, you know, just beautiful, grounded energy. And that energy is further amplified by the masculine. The emperor is the divine masculine energy. So it's authority, it's leadership, it's taking action. Very powerful. He's a provider. He is the protector. Um, so we have the sacral chakra and the, the thing I noticed right away was, you know, it's kind of picking up on the si same vibration as the sun. Um, but the sacral chakra represents your emotions, how you, your emotional well-being. Okay, so your interactions with people, your relationships. Um, so usually when this lower chakra shows up, it means there's a blockage there. So the feminine, I feel, although she feels very successful, grounded, she's been looking after herself, there's an emotional blockage there. And it's continuing to manifest in the 3D reality with the five of pentacles. So this is someone being closed off, or sorry, four of pentacles. Somebody being closed off, not letting them in, um, holding on too tightly to the situation. So there's too much masculine energy. There's too much... Um, power here to the point where you may over you know feel like you're pushing on somebody in order to get them to open up or vice versa um you you could be the one who's who's closing themselves off with that masculine energy you know emotionally okay so what is in the present position for the masculine solitude the hermit feminine being represented here. Usually I see the hermit as the masculine, but there's a feminine here. So the masculine side is seeking solitude. Um, now this isn't, a, you know, abandonment. This isn't avoidance, right? This isn't fear-based energy. This is seeking wisdom. Um, and you find that wisdom through solitude, through aloneness. Okay, so that's great, right? We have that movement away from negative energy into this major arcana, the philosopher. Awesome. So the hermit detaches from the 3D reality. Uh, they're unchained, unbound by the 3D. And it's all about spirituality. So let's pull some clarifiers. Three of Swords. Okay. Ace of Wands. And the, the Knight of Wands. Very cool. Three of Swords. Past position. This decision to move away from something and begin a new resulted in some painful feelings, heartbreak, loss, right? Um, but that heartbreak is easily overcome through the solitude. There is so much insight and clarity that comes from that solitude and the decision. The very cool thing here is that we have wand energy overpowering the mind. So it's spirituality, creativity, um, so you may be inspired to create in this uh, solitude. So another cool synchronicity is that we have the Page of Wands. So that is making a decision, seeing this vision of your future, 
um, which is very similar to the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that spark of inspiration, Kundalini awakening, go, go time, go light, right? And what's really cool is that after the go light, we have the night. So the page progresses to the night. So it's that thought and then action with the night. And it's, you know, it's like, uh, the horse shooting out of the gate after the, the light turns green. Very cool synchronicity. So that action um, is very directed, very powerful towards a goal. So out of that heartbreak um, in solitude, aloneness, there is freedom, unchaining, and movement, powerful movement. Okay, so the near future for the feminine teach the high priest. What's cool about this card is that there's a feminine being represented here. Um, so moving into that feminine energy, I like to see that. Okay, um, you know, you want to balance the yin and yang within yourself. So the feminine is moving into um, the teacher. A spiritual guide perhaps um, this is somebody who gains wisdom and knowledge um, through meditation or through insight within and then they make connections and um, they teach their wisdom through spiritual teachings okay so they share it with the collective um, so this is coming in the near future and what also really drew me here is the fact that there there are two feminines here both looking forward and they both hold this book of wisdom in their hands so there's a mirroring happening here eight of swords the moon and the two of swords again eight of swords past position self-imposed prison of the mind closing yourself off um only because you feel that you aren't free somebody else is making you feel like you're oppressed that you can't move so the Eight of Swords, all mental stuff, okay? We can see that kind of closing off energy with the Four of Pentacles, feeling locked out of something, seeking answers with the Moon card. This is um, the shadow side of the self. It is all the things that are left unsaid, uh, you know, half truth spoken. So from that darkness, I see a movement out. There is so much clarity that comes with the you know, the major arcana, um, the high priest, which helps the feminine continue to go on that path. You know, we got the two of swords repeating itself, coming from the past, but we also have that ace of swords in the future. There is clarity. There's mental clarity from that decision. So there's, it seems to be like, if you give of yourself, you share your wisdom, your knowledge, you will find the answers that way right you're being drawn on this path of spirituality or you know being a spiritual leader and you're considering those options um yeah i just feel you know this movement from being hard like a masculine into a more gentle energy turning your your energy from being closed off to the external to being open to the external through spirituality if that makes any sense um we kind of see that same thing happening over here as well right having a broken heart closing yourself off seeking solitude healing and then bursting forth as the knight of wands so the near future for the masculine side is the six of pentacles giving and receiving so this is a reciprocation card. This is sharing your energy with somebody in the 3D reality. And um, so, you know, it's the law of give and receiving. So if you give, you're going to get tenfold back. So this is what he's moving towards. Um, being open in the 3D after a period of healing. Three of Cups. Solar Plexus Chakra. And the 11-11 card, awesome. Past position, three of cups. So this is ignition. This is two people falling in love and celebrating that love. And so that love wells up within you. And it's through that love, that connection with somebody else, that he is able to be open. So 
you know, this is union energy, and it's also your vibe tribe. So the solar plexus chakra is in the present position. So it's a, um, over here we have the sacral chakra. This is more of a powerhouse energy. So it's power, your will exerted on the world in order to do something. And we can see that power being activated with the, the Knight of Wands. And it's a pursuit towards the 1111 connection. So confirmation of a twin flame. Um, the person that you've celebrated love with that person that you feel united with, that's part of your vibe tribe, um, opens you up to sharing your life with them in 3D. But it requires this powerful activation with your solar plexus, courage, strength to do it. Okay, so we'll leave the final outcome for later. Let's move into the union energy. So what is the feminine bringing into the union? Wow, yin, nice. So even though there was masculine energy overall for the month of April, the feminine is turning into the yin, and that's what she's going to be projecting. So she's going to be in a more receptive mode, not taking action, not being that closed-off masculine energy that I'm seeing there. Okay, so the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move. Gathering information and taking in cues. The art of conscious allowing. So the message is, let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effort effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them you will be pleasantly surprised. So this is what the feminine is projecting, yin, divine feminine, um, into the union. That's beautiful. Okay, so three cards. Ten of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and wow, transformation card. I'm saying wow because the, the transformation card was the main card, uh, like the main message from the twin flame readings and the yin reading. So, you know, there's a synchronicity there that it's showing up. Okay, so the past position is the ten of wands. So this is burden, exhaustion, feeling like you've taken on too much. But it's a completion of that, it's the ending. So we can see that it required a great deal of strength to make it to this point of the crossroads. And instead of fighting an uphill battle, it's like you collapse in exhaustion. You, you're letting destiny play out for you. You know, um, you're just, you needed to withdraw in order to recuperate. The King of Pentacles is, could represent an earth sign, but this is the energy that you're bringing into the union. So this is somebody who's very financially stable. We can see that energy with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is something that the King of Pentacles would be would achieve. Just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. So the King of Pentacles is very similar to the Nine of Pentacles. They would have achieved the Nine of Pentacles. Very um, successful, established. Um, he's all about the home and family. Um, so you are projecting this King of Pentacles energy that... Um, you are independent. You've arrived at this place of security and safety within yourself. You don't place a lot of importance on 3D reality. What you gain pleasure from is being surrounded by friends and family. Okay, so we can see this movement from a masculine provider, and you can see that also on in the present moment, um, into the feminine, going through a transformation, you know, feeling like you had to take action, you had to make this thing happen, um, you know, and so I see you moving from the masculine, being uh, transformed into that feminine receptive in energy. So what is the masculine bringing in? Why? All right, so why? Motives, driving intention, the power of knowing the why. There is great power, or sorry, um, the relationship message is, we don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do. 
Most, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize that whether you are being triggered by someone else or if the behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling this and why did I say that and spend some time in introspection, the answers will be surprising. Listen to the message from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself? Um, and it goes on. Uh, what does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today, why? So, you know, we see that going within, looking for the answers in that book. So, same theme looking in that book, seeking the answers. And it looks to me like he discovers those answers. Okay, so I'm just going to give the cards a quick shuffle. All right, so three cards. The Ace of Swords, the Fool card, and the, wow, the Four of Pentacles again in the future. So synchronicity here with the Four of Pentacles in the future, synchronicity with the Ace of Swords in the past. So decision made, you already made a decision to move to calmer waters, uh, to start a new beginning, to cut away those ties, right? And so in terms of the union, you are the Fool, you are in zero point. Um, there's a sense of you ready to begin this new adventure, taking the leap of faith, not having any attachments. Now, the Four of Pentacles is coming in the future, so this could be the feminine energy. You're coming up across somebody who's being closed off, because I don't really see that as you being closed off. I see you, you know, in the state of readiness and then movement forward towards the 1111 connection. So you are looking for answers. You are... Um, possibly trying to discover the best way to approach the feminine. Um, ultimately, you know, it's going to lead to the 1111 connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards say. All right, so the foundation is the moon. Okay, so mediumistic. Well, that word medium, right? Going within, using your intuition. So the moon reflects in its own house and gives the card above a deeper meaning, um, which should be divided, or sorry, delved into below the surface. So um, recognition, dreams, how others see you. So your self-image, um, no, I'm not really getting self-image. What I'm getting is both aspects needing to seek answers, right? And you're, you're using that book of spirituality in order to discover those answers. So, you know, we got that moon being reflected in the near future um, as well. So seeking those answers from within, using your intuition, is what it was shared at the foundation between both aspects, discovering those answers. One card for the feminine, Queen of Swords, and the masculine is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Swords, feminine energy, could represent an air sign, but this is the feminine being cold as ice, being wanting communication, seeing the truth in the matter, seeing through bullshit, saying what's on her mind. So she's cutting through that darkness to discover answers. So both of these cards are about communication. Um, so I see here this desire to open up and communicate. Um, however, the feminine is being cold as ice, like the masculine, unemotional, closed off. So on the, fem or the masculine side, we have the Eight of Wands. So again, that's communication, it's Cupid's arrows, it's excitement, it's 
energized energy. It is seeing the finish, finish line and so that it excites you even more, right? So we got that, whoops, um, where's the night? So we got that seeing the finish line, being so excited, you know, with the page in the, in the night um, that it, it empowers him. Okay, so the crowning energy is number 15. So I think this is like the mother card, protective. Okay. This is a house of stubbornness and situations where you find no joy in trying to dissuade somebody to change their mind. It is a position of power. So authority, um, mother, headstrong, power. Yeah, so as a crowning energy, this is what you both desire, to, to not be headstrong, maybe, or to break down the barriers. You know, we got that feeling of being closed off, being reflected on both sides here in the future, right? So there is this desire to connect, not be headstrong like the Queen of Swords, not be closed off, winning at all costs, you know, arguments, that kind of thing. Okay, so one card, feminine, nine of wands, and a masculine crown chakra. Okay, so crown chakra activation. The masculine is really making some great strides in terms of um, his spiritual growth or having those aha moments, awakening, kundalini awakening to the 1111 connection. So I'm seeing this moment of I know happening in the past um, and being convinced of it that he could, there's no way on earth anybody can dissuade him of that knowing and pursuing it, okay, like Mother Bear, right? Um, the Nine of Wands is being brought in by the feminine. So this is a wounded warrior. This is somebody who's been through a lot of battles. Um, and I feel she is a Mother Bear. She is the one who is protecting her cubs, who is, is tired of fighting, but has the power, the strength to continue on. Um, so again, this sense of authority, of stubbornness. Um, but you want this burden to be over. You want... Huh, I'm going to pull one more card for clarity. So I'm going to use my little deck here. What do you mean by the Nine of Wands? Give of yourself. Okay, there you go. Give of yourself. So... Instead of being that powerhouse, you're, you're becoming yin, right? Instead of fighting so much and holding on to something um, or, or closing yourself off to something, you want to be open and more gentle like the yin. Okay, so at the heart we have sacral chakra, same card over here. So at the heart, there is this emotional blockage, the inability to communicate your love or to express your love. Um, you know, we have the two progressing to the three in the, the future on the masculine side. Um, and hopefully there is that resolution on the feminine side. We'll see what the final outcome is, though. But so this is, again, being able to express yourself emotionally. And Pisces is all about the emotion, right? They They get into a relationship because of the way it feels, how they connect with other people on an emotional level. So this is very important to Pisces, of course. Okay, so the feminine, wow, the eight of wands and the masculine, five of wands. So the fem or the masculine um, feels that there is a challenge to being able to express himself emotionally. Um, feels that maybe, you know, there's a self-image there that he doesn't compare or that he needs to sh prove himself. Um, the feminine is actually bringing in the eight of wands, so that's kind of interesting. Um, the feminine wants to communicate her emotions to Cupid's arrow. She wants to be that knight of cups. She 
she feels she has this love in her heart to express herself or maybe she wants that from the masculine um, so hmm it kind of doesn't really go along with what I'm seeing on this on the mat the feminine side though so yeah I think I'm gonna pull one more clarifier for that okay so what do you mean by the eight of wands oops she is trying to clear that blockage right that is in a present position she wants to clear that blockage bad luck hmm maybe this is like um, you know kind of like a pity party um, feeling you know there's so much that has happened in the past too much water under the bridge that you you're not expressing yourself emotionally although there is this you know this desire to communicate you're you're kind of like in this vibration of darkness um, so unblock that chakra uh, raise the vibration clear that energy with the transformation card and come out of the darkness the moon right make the decision that you need to make um, don't base your actions on somebody else although be receptive to it for sure okay so one card actually for the masculine as well decision made okay so again it's pointing to the fact that he's already made a decision uh, to move towards the 1111 connection right to be open to re be receptive to start this new beginning okay so the final outcome for the feminine side is gentle gardener nice beautiful it's all about co-creating sending out seeds of intention realizing that your thoughts have power So be your own per person, be a conscious co-creator. A gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all that you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What are their quality? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see, right? Um, the realization that your thoughts are what are imprisoning you, what are keeping you in the state of non-movement. Okay, so you step into this high priest energy and all-knowing, realizing how your vibration is felt by everyone so be conscious of your thoughts wow three of cups nine of cups nice oh my god are you kidding me yeah okay so three cups in the past position very cool synchronicity coming in uh, from the masculine side as well so you both felt this deep connection long ago and you celebrated this love Right, so this three is progressing to the nine of cups, which is dreams fulfilled. Those seeds of intention that you send out is coming back to you as the nine of cups, as your dreams and wishes being fulfilled. You're celebrating that love double time with these two cards, right? You're surrounded by friends, family, um, music, right? You just feel satisfied with love. Um, and then the 1111 card, oh my God. Think positive, you guys, because that this is what happens when you do the 1111 confirmation. Cool synchronicity, double whammy is coming in the future on both sides. Final come for the masculine. Nice coming together. Yeah. Oh my God, I love your reading. I wish I was a Pisces.
So come together. Love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion. No shit, right? You're on that path to 1111. <clears throat> so to discover the nature of this emotion in all of its forms of expression, romantic, familiar, uh, unconditional, spiritual. In each instant, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and a take between you and a significant other, a relative, a friend, an animal, or a spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished like a ma magnet. You are attracting love into your life. This is a time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Nice. So you are attracting love into your life. Your, your twin flame, your reflection, your mirror. Oh, love it. Eight of Cups. Whoa, the moon. And nice, the Ten of Cups. Oh my God. Okay, so the Eight of Cups past position is progressing to the Ten of Cups. Very cool. Eight of Cups in the past is a decision to walk away from an emotionally draining situation, something that was hurting your heart. And it takes power and strength in order to remove yourself from that. Through that solitude, you find that strength and you find that wisdom, those answers that you are seeking. You decide to take a leap of faith. Okay, so this is embarking on a spiritual journey. The moon card reflects a period of not knowing, right? Did I make the right decision? Um, and it's an intuitive card, right? So Pisces, very intuitive. You are ruled by the moon. So this is your arena. This is you know, you can handle this unknown. All water energy here. I almost see this coming together card is also another water energy, like the Two of Cups. So seeking those answers, even though it's a scary decision to detach yourself from something that's emotionally draining, you're moving towards a Ten of Cups. Even though you're leaving Eight Cups behind, you're pursuing a more fulfilling life. No shit. Eleven, eleven. That's what you're moving towards. Peace, harmony. Happily ever after, coming together, boom. Awesome. New beginnings, that's why you are the sun. That's why you are the sun. Congrats, guys, that's such a beautiful reading. Okay, so I'm gonna pull two cards from Missing Mermaids and this will be the final message from the universe. What final messages do you have? So, so Pisces is, is a fish, right? I was thinking, okay, Cancer has a shell, and so I'm seeing this kind of shell energy over here on the feminine side, but that doesn't really reflect, so I omit what I just said. Okay, so for the feminine, jellyfish portal, very nice. Yes, let go, surrender, go with the flow, and the masculine is microcosm sea monsters. And what did I do with the book? Okay. So I'll read the feminine first. So number 19. So the message from the universe, feminine. Let life take us unassuming, yielding to the ebb and flow. No hurries, no worries. We have no need to scurry. The current will lead us wherever we go. A deep-dwelling mermaid watches passively as a smack of ice-blue jellyfish flutter by, carried by the ocean current. Their brilliant luminosity brings light to an otherwise darkened scene. So the meaning is go with the flow. Yes, open yourself up. Be receptive like yin. You have been fighting and struggling with your present situation without making much progress. It is time to take a page from the jellyfish book and allow things to take their natural course. Although they have the capability to move independently, jellyfish tend to allow themselves to drift along the currents of the ocean trusting the process, not fighting what is. Do the same, and you may find yourself at a more content, relaxed, and peaceful person, even if you wind up somewhere you never expected to be awesome. So microcosm seascape 35. Okay, masculine. Containment is essential, she said, with a nervous backward glance. Losing these beasties on earth, an unfortunate happenstance. 
It requires my utmost resolve to keep these fiends bottled up inside, to allow them free in the world I simply cannot abide. A melancholy maiden clutches an alchemical flask. Beside her sits the ultimate creation, a microcosmic world of swirling sea monsters and raging seas. Sorry, swirling seas and raging monsters. She is uneasy, however, and expends all of her energy containing the world. So the meaning is, be careful of bottling up your inner demons. Right? Express your emotions. On the outside, you are calm, but inside you're hiding tumultuous emotions. You're wrestling a great deal of you're wasting a great deal of energy keeping these incessant monsters contained. You are wasting your faculties trying to make everything appear okay on the surface when really you're hurting internally. Resolving what is inside of you. Uh, sorry, resolve what is inside of you. Make peace with your past so that you can move forward with goodness and light in your heart. Make peace with your present self even if it's not ideal. Know that it is within your power to, to make changes to yourself, but only slowly and with great effort. Take steps to change what you, can, what you can and make peace with what you cannot. When your interior finally reflects your exterior, you will be able, you will at last be ready to face the world. There you go. So that movement into oneself and then, um, you know, dealing with all of this you know, these demons from your past and finally moving on with this power and strength, right, towards love, towards a twin flame coming together, union, move towards the sun, towards the light, guys. All right, so I do hope this helped. Um, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, this isn't going to be a public reading, so... Um, you know, there'll be less people uh, reading the comments, so feel free to say whatever you, you like. Um, all right, so I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers, peace.